Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Land Place of Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Gotta admit, first run in a while, got the nerves tingling. It's not to say this is the first run in a while, I just played one about 15 minutes ago. 1-1 RSCEA7, but no, this is the first run in a while where I've had the tingles. Because this is... For 50. This is 50. Judd Apatow's 10-year sequel to the movie that was already a pseudo-sequel to Knocked Up. This is 40. I want to see that. I want to see Leslie Bibb. Is it Leslie Bibb? What's what's that lady's name? Les Leslie Bibb might be the lady from Popular. Leslie Man, that's it. That's a man, Leslie. No, but Leslie Man, uh, Paul Rudd. This is 50. This is 60. This is 70. This is 80. This is 90. This is one fucking hundred. This is 110? This is 120? Oh god, this is 130? The machines have taken over? Implanted nano machines into our bloodstream? This is 10,000? This is 1 billion. Sign me up, I'm ready. So we have, um... I mean, I was gonna say that it's an interesting kind of combination of items, but it's not, it's not that interesting. Like, let's not, you know, patronize our intelligent viewer base here. It's, it's a good combination of items. Uh, our stats are solid, and Bomber Boy can be really, really powerful. Ooh, no thank you. Uh, Boomerang also has the potential to, uh, be very good for us. If we use it properly, which is always, you know, a bit of a crapshoot. That's the real benefit of Bomber Boy right there. Um, but unlike the last run, we actually have the ability to uh, kill enemies with our tears early on, which is a nice change of pace, I suppose. So, pretty happy about where we find ourselves. I will say, I would like to find a way uh, to improve our damage. It's not bad, and our DPS, uh, I think, has a disproportionate advantage relative to the average run, because we do have a good uh, rate, a great rate of fire, actually. Just luck of the draw, I suppose. Um, and, and we could use a better spacebar on it. Boomerang is just... It's decent. And that's it. Um, glass Cannon was our other item. So it does always suck when you don't get anything early that gives you some momentum, but life goes on. Uh, I think it is worthwhile to come in here, and the reasoning is Bomber Boy allows you to really bomb the shit out of that donation machine, and then you look at this and you go, hmm, maybe Converter's worth it, just to snag that extra HP? Two Spirit Hearts is, uh, obviously not bad. Thought we might get lucky there. Um, we didn't need to do that, there was a fire right there. At least we got our bomb back, though. Uh, Two Spirit Hearts is nice to have, especially for Deal with the Devil chances, and I'll be real bummed out if I, uh, lose my opportunity to deal with the devil as a result of this. That'll make it definitely not worth the HP that we got, but hopefully that doesn't come to pass. I'm willing to take a chance at it either way, and Duke of Flies is dead. Little Steven, obviously not what we're looking for, but still, pretty good. Very fast as well. We're only 2 minutes 50 seconds into the run. Okay, so we're just looking for a Tinted Rock early. I don't know if I would... Ooh, now I will. I was gonna say I don't know if I was gonna spend a, uh, a bomb to get this, because we need a bomb for a Tinted Rock, but... I think it's worth the risk. Once you get past that point. These fucking flies, dude. Scared the crap out of me for a second there. Anything with a Spirit Heart? That's not a Spirit Heart at all. Does it have Bomber Boy? Wonderful. Uh, I don't think it has Bomber Boy. Not that it matters that much for uh, for that item. So all we need to do in all likelihood is get inside of the shop, blow up our donation machine, buy a Spirit Heart. Now, this is really bad for a donation machine. We shouldn't get in the habit of doing this probably, but... It's, uh... We, we, we maintain a good equilibrium. I think the donation machine knows, you know, sometimes we go hard. But we always were good for it in the end. We've taken like 30 cents out of it here, which is kind of ridiculous. Um, I think it is worth 15 cents for five bombs again. And apart from that, we'll just go. And our spirit heart should protect us. This may, uh, I mean, it's, it's way too early to be like, well, we've won the run. But this may give us a bead on a pretty easy victory. Uh, all we need is a deal with the devil that allows us to maybe improve our damage or, you know, gives us a, a killer item like Brimstone or Mom's Knife. Well, I mean, that's obvious. In most situations, that'll lead to a win. But we need less than we usually need to be very, very confident here early. So let's see if the game will indulge me.
I would I would really like okay, that was super dumb. We've done it! <laughs> there we go, finally. But a, a little bit of a waste of 15 cents, I think it's fair to say. Just don't let me spend three spirit hearts here. Or three hearts. We will take blue cap, and I'll take it right away. It's unlikely to matter. Holy shit, okay. Um, I, so I'm going to take Mega, but I am going to say, and I never thought we'd reach this moment. We might have to not take Mega in the future. It's, it's showing up so frequently. And believe you me, I, uh, I recognize that it's a fun item, and it took us a long time to get it for the first time. But it's showing up kind of to a ridiculous frequency right now, almost to the point where I'm like... I'm, I'm, I wouldn't say I'm sick of Mega. I still think it's like a fun item and all that, but I'm, I'm kind of a little, I guess I have secondhand embarrassment over the fact that it shows up so much. Kamikaze. Well, we're obviously not taking that instead, but it was a no-brainer that we would take this. Um, I, I hope you thought it was a no-brainer at least. Uh, that was weird. I didn't realize that we actually started the room because the music didn't change. Ceremonial robes by itself would have been an awesome pickup in there as well, but the fact that we can get ceremonial robes and mega and still, you know, be in a position where our HP is really, really good is, uh... I mean, it made it pretty easy, so it looks like we will probably hit 50. There is a double key room, and, you know, this could be a reroll, and I'll take it. I don't know, that, did you guys hear that? <laughs> Freaked me out. There's a dude laughing in the background. Um, well, because it's a consumable reroll room... Ah, fudge it. Reroll the bombs. I was like, we could take the bombs because we have Bomber Boy. I mean, we rerolled them and got the Emperor, so we did get something we could use for boss rush in the future, but... <laughs> I opened my door and I just heard, ha 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 ha, and I was like, this is the stuff of nightmares. You know, unless you're going to start singing Feel Good Ink by the Gorillas. I don't want to just hear, ha 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 ha, out of nowhere. City's breaking down on a camel's back. <laughs> Not the best, uh... Oh, what the, what's that dude's name? Damon Albarn, right? Not the best Damon Albarn impression? She's breaking down on a camel's back. They just wanna go, cause it... I, <laughs> I, I'm offended on his behalf. Alright, let's go to town here. We might as well pop Mega, as is available. Oddly enough, I am guilty of, of probably not using Mega as effectively as we should. In a lot of circumstances. Even just as, like, you know, extra locomotion here has got something going for it. I actually... First off, I'm disappointed with that damage. But I found myself being like... I wonder what that item is. Obviously, we're gonna get a cube of meat. And that's good. I'll, I'll take a familiar, an orbital. Is that you, Tomo? I don't like to hear... Uh, a man laughing and then have something furry run past my leg. You never know what kind of situation we've created here. Uh, okay, let's try Steam Sale. Sure, then we'll definitely try that. Pandora's Box, we are on Caves 1. And then we'll get Mom's Coin Purse. Alright, this is very confusing now. Lots of uncertainty. Balls of Steel is great. Relax is not bad. Not good, but not bad. What makes you larger is irrelevant. Let's take our three cent spirit heart, head down to the next floor, and now we've got a chance to possibly play a blood bank, and this should be a secret room. And the secret room is gonna give us a full mega charge, which is really good, and then pay for our bombs and then some, so... Um, this turned out pretty well. We'll head down to the next floor at least... After getting cube of meat, at least uh, a minute and a half ahead of schedule. But again, you know, we got mega, so it's just gonna, it's gonna ball out of control, in theory at least. That's Tomo. Oh my god, Tomo! Tomo, you normally don't like to meow on camera, buddy. You're a little camera shy. What happened? Did Ruka take a poop? I don't yeah, I know! I don't know why these cats, it's it's like a primal thing. If anybody else takes a poop, they gotta go and tell me, like, hey, my brother took a poop. I don't care. Human beings don't do that. Well, I'm not saying you should be a human being, buddy. I'm just saying it's an interesting, you know, difference between our psychologies. Tomo! Nah, he's out of here. Okay. Let's see. 
A deal with the devil would be quite continental, because Brimstone is a girl's best friend. I fucked it. Created like an undodgeable matrix here. Why am I standing next to a red poop man? That's a terrible decision. No deal with the devil? I am surprised. But Synth Oil is also a girl's best friend. At least in Isaac. I don't know if Synth Oil is anybody's best friend in uh, the real world. Isn't that what you inject into your biceps? To make them look like... There's, like, not even super jacked, but to make you look like Bane from the 1997 Batman film, Batman and Robin. Of course, I mean, you guys know, I'm a fitness nut. So, obviously, I inject synth oil into my ball sack on a daily basis. Make it look like a Monsanto peach. Which is, simultaneously, my the name I moonlight under as a male stripper. Coming up next to the stage, we got... <laughs> Wait, let's do that as Damon Albarn. Coming up now on the center stage is Monsanto Peach, and he's got a 12 gauge. Balsack, I don't even know what that means, but he injects the synth oil in it and it makes him scream. Okay. I wish I could just, like, stop using Mega right now. I do, I do want to get contract from below and not. Hopefully annoy the shit out of my viewers by just spamming the directional keys. Okay, uh, let us go and see what's in here. Of course we expected this. We will go down to half of a heart to make this happen, and that's fine. And maybe try a bomb here and get our hearts back. I'm not super worried about grabbing uh, the blood bank or getting a bunch of money from it. It doesn't matter to me that much. Inside of our... Wait, that's not a cursed room. That's a... Ah, you idiot! I, I really did. I only saw the top of it, and I thought it was a curse room, and I was like, okay, well, we can do that easily. You dummy. Well, uh, let's go see what we've got in here, then. Do we even look in? Oh, it was the greed fight, right. Okay, well, we're, we're pretty much good, then. Let's go back and get all our consumables, head down to the next floor. Again, way ahead of schedule. And we will continue to be way ahead of schedule in all likelihood. Might as well check this. There's enough added value if that's a secret room. And it was a secret room, and if this gives me a guppy item, I'm gonna be pretty stoked. Not a guppy item. Instead, we got four troll bombs. And the troll bombs blew up the man in the center who gave us a spider. So that was, like, really good. I'm really happy about that. I also think maybe we should take a peek at magic mush possibilities there. Didn't work out. Life goes on. You know what? We didn't even go to our item room on this floor. I almost left without going to the item room, which actually gave me exper... Oh, my God. I think I... Got really excited about experimental treatment and freaked my cat out, but uh, experimental treatment gave us HP and gave us another syringe. So whatever else it does, I don't care. It does seem like it's lowered our damage. Okay, I, I lied, I care a little bit. But not to an enormous degree. We do have a free teleport out of boss rush here. Uh, and probably the means to get there in time. I mean, that, that should be pretty clear, I think. So honestly, win 50. Because of Win 50, man, it's been forever since we got to make it because of Win Dixie reference. Because of Win 50. No, but just in general, it looks like Win 50 is coming up real quick like here. Give me a syringe. That's a caffeine pill. It's close to a syringe. It's a kind of medicine. Your payout is like a pseudo medicine. That was so dumb. I, as soon as I saw myself standing there, I was like, we're in a bad place. Uh, pseudo medicine is, I mean, it's sort of what I need. Whoa. Come on, some luck upgrades. Uh, I mean, we're in, because of the fact that I blew myself up like an idiot, um, we're kind of in a, like a semi dicey spot. And I did take Bob's brain, but I took Bob's brain because I, I like Bob's brain as an item. And I think it gets a bad rap. I think all it needs, that was the best bomb we've ever placed. Um, I think it just needs a chance, you know, to really prove itself. And then. When you see the reason for Bob's Brain's morphology, you will be ashamed of your words and your deeds. Two of clubs is, you know, four bombs for three cents. I'll take it. I'll also take BOGO bombs. Um, and I'm just going to donate some money here because, I mean, I could blow up this dude in the middle, but I don't really want to. Save a little bit of money for the next floor. We do have steam sales, so we don't need much. Probably don't need much. Remember that time I got two steam sales and everything was free and then I picked up a third steam sale and things started to cost seven cents again? Those were the days. I'm just realizing now, you know, with Mega, it tends to be 
actually... Oh, wait, we're not on the... Yeah, I mean, it's largely irrelevant. I was going to say, we're not on the... Um, boss Rush floor yet, so there's really no reason for us to be talking about Boss Rush. But I was thinking I might just do Boss Rush. I mean, we're in a situation where it seems to make sense, and I'll just... I mean, head down to the next floor three minutes ahead of schedule. We got a third level Meat Boy. No, second level Meat Boy. Still, though, I mean, the cues of meat have been coming like crazy lately. That was so dumb. Okay, I am realizing perhaps I have uh, overstated the simplicity of this run right now. It shouldn't be hard, but I have created a situation in which I can hurt myself on the regular. And I find this displeasing to me. Well, the Emperor card doesn't really allow us to teleport back out. It just allows us to get into the boss room again. So, maybe we want to take Algiz instead. And we can take Algiz into boss rush. And then we're totally fine. Use Mega. Kill... Oh, God. Be careful. Kill all of the enemies. Then when your Mega charge runs out, maybe pop Algiz to supplement getting to Mega the next time. We should be fine. If we lose this run, there's there's actually, like, absolutely no excuse. I really thought that you would live through that. It's okay. Ooh, that's very good. Thank you. The game is seeing fit to be very nice to me right now, which I appreciate. Nobody tell the game that I will continue to play it regardless of its demeanor towards me. And, you know, it has a captive audience at this point. We have 18 cents. Enough to get, at this point, two things from the shop. Okay. This is why Bob's brain and orbitals get a bad rap. Because idiots like me don't use them properly. Don't hold this against Bob's brain. Hold this against me. My brain's trying to run two different simulations simultaneously here. It's running the simulation of uh, how should we handle Bob's brain. And it's running the simulation of how should we handle Bomber Boy. The first thing I think we should look for here... And because we're later on in the run, it probably shouldn't be the first thing. You know, we should have looked at the first thing ages ago. Does Bob's brain give us uh, give us the bomber boy effect? No. That's extremely useful, as you probably expect. This is a terrible use of Mega. Oh, my lord. It's actually, like, a god-awful use of Mega. Your love is like bad Mega. Bad Mega's not what I need, woo But still, we got HP out of it. I probably never would have come back to explore this area were it not for that, so... I guess maybe it's a blessing in disguise? But still, your love is like Bad Mega. And Bad Mega is not what I need, oh wo ho Two pills. Spirit Heart. Might as well take the Night Light. You know, if we can get out of this run only having Milk Dart on Ancient Machine for like 20 cents, that's, it's reasonable. I can live with it. Ah, oh, two amnesia pills, huh? What a time to be alive. I see you in the comments, and you're not, you're not incorrect. You're going to be saying things like, Man, how much do you want to bet NL's going to blow this run? And then, I'm probably not going to blow it, but even if I don't blow it, you're going to leave in the comments, edited... Well, he almost blew it. So technically I'm right, even though I staked the clip. Well, okay, I know I bet on the Mariners to win, but they almost won, so I don't think I should owe my bookie, you know, a hundred bucks. Sorry, that's not how this comment shit works. You're gonna take the comments seriously? I'm gonna take the comments seriously too as well, okay? And I'm I'm your YouTube bookie. Bookie for money! <laughs> Any Tina Turner fans in the audience? Probably not. It's a little bit before all of our time, honestly. Unless you're like, you know, 60 and you're watching this. In which case, that's pretty cool, you know? It feels good to be relatable to an older audience. You know, you guys have wisdom. And perhaps even more importantly, you have equity. Which is something I'm very envious of. As we've talked about on the show ad nauseum. This, uh, disregard the sound of the gas leak in the background. It's just the hot water heater kicking in. It's just... <laughs> the, the gas tank is like a secondary character on the Isaac episodes at this point. It shows up from time to time and we go, Hey, gas tank! At least it's not as bad as the time we had 
literally, you know, drilling on our apartment building roof for like two weeks. Uh, those were the days. Those were the best days. Of they were not the best days of my life. I woke up every day being like, I hope they don't drill today. I'd really like to make some videos for YouTube. No deal with the devil. Deal or no deal? We got no deal, Howie Mandel. You absolutely take sad bombs here. And then I think we just pop algae's right off the bat. And my reasoning is, I don't want to wait for our charge to be over. There we go. And, I mean, we're gonna not really get great value out of algae's, honestly. Because this fucker's just teleporting all over the place. What an asshole. Okay, now we got this. Please take less time to die. Sad bombs, Bob's brain is a good combo. I like that. Please, I'm begging you. Less time to die. We do have lump of coal, and lump of coal... Why walk right into that? Lump of coal plus um, Mega is actually very good. And not that Mega needs it, because it already, you know, nukes everything. In a matter of, you know, minutes, but... A matter of seconds. It's just, minutes is real-world timescale. Seconds is video game timescale. Okay, this is our last wave before we get another Mega Charge. Hopefully on this... Ooh, that was a little dicey. Hopefully on this Mega Charge, we just run out of... Uh, of enemies. We get another item, head down to the next floor. I don't know why... I really think that there's something to be said for Mega making our life so easy that it actually makes it more likely we lose. Which sounds ridiculous, but I, I've talked about this before. This is why I think the struggle's important, you know? If you have every advantage in the world, all you can do is is really disappoint. If you live up to your expectations, that's that's one thing, but if you fall even a little short of expectations, people are like, that guy had all the chances in the world, right? So Mega kind of puts us in that situation where if you're not playing perfectly, it's, it's a disappointment. Whereas uh, in a lot of other situations, people are like, well, don't be so hard on him. He had a shit run and he made it work. This run is like an amazing run, and if you uh, if you don't make it work perfectly, like how did how did you fuck it up so bad? The haunt is gonna ruin us here, yep. And we're even further away from Mega uh, than we were at the end of our last cycle. But we do have ten sad bombs that are also bomber boy. So we're not just getting good damage out of the bombs, we're getting good damage out of the uh, the shots that come out of those as well. What would I like to see as our secondary item here for finishing? Certainly uh, wouldn't be displeased to get another syringe. Fairly reasonable. And we're done. Instead we get prayer card. I mean, I'll take it and grab the extra HP, which is effectively what this is. It's not bad! Almost any other spacebar item would be worse in this situation, but it's not, you know, what I'm looking for. I gotta take a little stretch. This is not cockiness. I don't feel like we've got a guaranteed win. <clears throat> the principal bummer for me right now is this isn't a direct result of taking Mega. It's just kind of a, um, I'm gonna definitely take a hit there. Um, it's not a direct result of taking Mega, but we have gotten a lot of spirit, or not. <laughs> Oh, feel, excuse me. Um, we haven't uh, screwed ourselves by taking Mega. Quite the opposite, obviously. But then we've gotten a lot of spacebar items that we just can't get any value out of. So a lot of our recent item rooms have just not been that useful. Super stoked we got sad bombs from the boss fight. That's that's really good. Let's see if this is worth it. Eh, I mean it is and it isn't. Go to a f better or worse than Lucky Toe? Not not better or worse. Just just different. I know that whenever people say, no, not better, not worse, just different, they always mean worse, you know. However, in this case, I really mean that. Most of the time, I'd probably rather have Goat Hoof, but if it's, you know, Goat Hoof versus, uh, a Goat Hoof and walking on spikes versus keeping Lucky Toe and, and not walking on spikes, and it's an easier decision to make for me personally, you know. It's like, I'd probably rather have uh, a cheeseburger than a, than a crab bisque but if I gotta walk over broken glass to get the cheeseburger I'll take the crab bisque can I be honest with you I don't think I've ever had a bisque before in my life what is a bisque 
I know that you can make it faster with Bisquick. Was that a joke about America's leading brand of quick biscuit flour? Yes, it is. I have, you know, people always talk about the, um... Well, let's, let's frame it like it's in a, a military marching song. Everywhere I go, everywhere he goes, people always tell me, people always tell me, do you have the recipe? Do you have the recipe for lobster, Red Lobster's famous Cheddar Bay Biscuit? Okay, it's obviously not working. Long story short, you can make lob Red Lobster's famous Cheddar Bay Bisquicks. Biscuits. At home. With Bisquick. They taste like a reasonable analog. The secret, Bisquick, about 18 sticks of butter and 45 cups of cheddar cheese. And then some garlic powder. Look it up online. You can make it yourself. I promise you this. It will work. I also, like, unless I'm missing something, I feel like we've kind of gotten shafted on these deals with the devil recently. Like, we didn't get one on the depths too. But we also didn't get one on the womb one? That's, that's like a, that's rolling a one. I'm not gonna bitch about rolling a one every now and then on a d6, but, you know, at the same time, it's like, kind of... You would expect to roll it between a two and a six, probably. That's the that's the bitch ass nature of variance, I suppose. There we go. So Bob's brain is now actually becoming like a really awesome deterrent um, when we're running away from enemies, like we were in that exact situation right there. All we need to do, um, and you know what, this, I don't know, maybe this is a good hush run, but I'm probably going to abstain because of, the, I'm probably going to Dave Mustaine from this one, just because 6 HP is not a ton. If we don't take damage, we will, I think, over 100% get a deal with the devil here. Um, I'm not going to use Mega right away. It seems not necessary. Um, and if we get a deal with the devil, we'll probably trade HP away. Sometimes you end up with more HP than you bargained for, but... Extra keys as well. Ah, you know, fuck it. <laughs> Let's use Mega. What's the point of having it if you're not using it fairly frequently? And you know what? Even if we just get these rooms out of it, it was pretty worth it. So we did get a deal with the devil, as suggested, and then we ruined it. Almost accidentally took ourselves down to the hush fight. I think that's a good sign that we should be moving on to the cathedral. That was a frightening situation that I, you know, there before the grace of God go I again. Uh, and I've kind of, I mean, I think I deserve a win on this one. You know, I, I think it's hard to argue that I've played so poorly that I don't deserve to get the win, given the items that we have on display. But it's not one of my best played runs ever. I'll give you that. And you know what? It didn't need to be. So I'm not going to necessarily apologize for, you know, 5 out of 10 play. Oh, that was real bad, though. And on the bright side, you know, we're getting two chests every second room here, so... Um, it's not really the end of the world to take damage now and then. We're getting a lot of HP back. And I will accept whatever this guy gives me. A syringe would be nice, but I don't even know if... You know, you shouldn't be giving money to babies on the street hoping to get a syringe. If you're into that stuff... You know, that's your own personal biz business, but don't... That's your own personal biz quick. You know, why don't you mind your own biz quick? No, but that's that's your own personal business, but don't get a baby involved. Don't drag a, an innocent baby into your... An innocent until proven guilty into your drug ring. Did I say that right? An innocent until proven guilty baby? It's like Austin Powers on trial for the many war crimes he committed over the course of his three-film rampage. Innocent until proven guilty, baby. Is it true that you... That cat number two is in the big underground drills? How did you know that? I didn't, innocent until proven guilty, baby. You just told me. Sorry, we got more HP around. We also have... A tinted one. And I should have endeavored to actually get some value out of the bomb that we placed. Okay. Messed it up again. It's alright, we got two bombs out of it. More than enough keys as well. 
And yeah, we'll, we'll pop Mega here. We don't need Mega so much for the bosses. I, you know, I would rather fight the boss with bombs and use our Mega Charge to clear like, you know, five or six rooms in advance of the boss. That is very satisfying. Fistula doesn't stand a dang chance. Like, this is probably some of the best value we've gotten out of Mega on this entire run. We also got halfway to another charge, which is awesome. But yeah, win 50, coming in strong. Win 51 is weird, or run 51 is weird. Because it's almost like, it's not actually like this, but it's almost like you're starting from zero. Ooh, I don't know about this one. I know that that sounds ridiculous, and it's not even technically true. Stars, stars, Awas. Pop Awas just for fun. We probably want Perth. Oh no, we want Yara. Yeah, let's take Yara. No, nothing could possibly beat Yara, but we might as well take the Gaz as well. Uh, I'm on Zeus, sure. And do you just? Here's the deal. I think you do it like this. I think you do pop Mega. I think you kill this guy with Mega, making sure to get your Bob's brains in there on occasion. And you know what? I think you let it die, and then you grab these two batteries. I was thinking we would just, like, steamroll a few floors, uh, a few rooms on the chest, and then we would go back and, uh, get the items and be good to go, but instead I think this is the much better way. So this is fine. We're, like, halfway to a charge. More than halfway to a charge. We'll yarrow it up. I would love, like, a dad's key or something right now. Iron bar is good. Headless baby's good. Scorpio's okay. God's flesh is okay. Little Gertie's okay. Little Brim is genuinely good. And Capricorn is awesome. Okay, this is a pretty, like, above average group of uh, eight items there, I'd say. Uh, we should, if possible, endeavor to kill Lust Last, which I know has already failed. <laughs> Next time. Next time, then. Certainly don't need any more keys. And our pills are just getting, like, disgustingly good. All right, nothing can stop this one now. Very little can stop this one now. Can you even get a full run reroll on the chest? I think you can. I think I can. I think I can. I think I. Can. I think any animal co is animal collective still cool? They were really cool when I was. I mean, at the at the coolest I've ever been. I'm not saying that I was cool, but at the coolest I've ever been, animal collective was really cool. Are they still cool? Or is it like, shut up, dad? Oh, of course, this is what you get. Can you still get a full run reroll on the chest and they give me the D4? I figured we'd get spun out of it. I'll give myself one full run reroll. Oh my god, we have Cursed Eye. We got some weird shit. Let's just, you know. Well, there we Okay, we've teleported. We must have $3 bill and fruitcake? This is very strange. But if we get Mega ready for the boss fight, nothing can kill us. Unless our mega shots have weird tear effects associated with them. I don't know. Like, we, I, we're still fine. I'm, I'm pretty sure we're still extremely fine, actually. It actually seems like a really strong Cursed Eye run. If not a little weird. I don't know what's making these enemies vibrate like crazy. Got another syringe. Syringe, 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 syringe. Is, J is Jens Lechman still cool? When I was, you know, maybe at 40% of the coolest I've ever been, Jens Lechman was pretty cool, so... Who the fuck is Jens Lechman? I don't know why I had to put it in that accent. Who the fuck is Jens Lechman? I don't even know. If you're saying, wow, that's really offensive to Country X, you are incorrect. That is a, that is an accent that has no home. Okay, well, we have Mega. So, if we just don't charge a shot and go ape shit on this guy, we should be good? Like, we can take as many hits as we want. It looks like we have the soul, too. All right, we've killed him. We will exit this run, and that is win 50. That feels great. It's the first time we've been over, like, 30 since the time we were in the 110s or 120. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.